Hello guys, today I want to talk about object-oriented programming in PHP. If you are new to object-oriented programming in general, that's certainly fine, because I'm going to start with the very basics, like where is a class, where is an object, how to create it, and cover much more complicated things like namespaces, traits, interfaces, abstract classes, and so on. There will be about 12 videos in this playlist, which will cover 99% of what you need to know in object-oriented PHP. From the first look, the object-oriented programming may seem a little bit complicated, but as soon as you start using it and feel comfortable writing code in an object-oriented fashion, you will understand the advantages of using it. The topics we're going to cover. Classes, properties, and method. This keyword. Constructors and destructors. Static properties and static methods. Class constants. After this, we're going to move much more complicated and interesting things, such as magic methods and magic constants inside class, inheritance, abstract classes and abstract methods, interfaces, traits, namespaces, and finally, autoloping. If you're interested in any of these topics, please subscribe, like, and share this video. And let's start. First, let's understand what is a class. Class is a blueprint. It's a template which has associated variables and functions. The associated variables are called properties and functions are called methods. You can consider class as a new data type, which has, as I mentioned, its own variables and functions. And if you consider class as a new data type, it's obvious that we can create variables from this data type. And the variables are called instances. Let's talk on a specific example, like a blueprint, a template of a car. As you can see, it's just a blueprint, nothing real. But if it's a blueprint, we can create something real from, the, from this blueprint. And these are instances. We can create multiple instances from this class, and all of them can be different. They can have different manufacturer, they can have different color, year, and so on. And these are properties, like color, manufacturer, year, and so on. Here are just examples of properties on the left side, like color, weight, um, damage, max speed, and 4x4. The properties can have different data type, like color is a string, weight is a number, damage is a boolean, max speed is also a number, and 4x4 is a boolean. It is just true or false. And for methods, the methods are basically functions, as I said, and the methods do some action, some behavior, like change a color, or return the weight of the car, uh, repair, and so on. That's basically all for this introduction video. I hope you understand where is a class and instance, and in the next video, we are gonna start writing our first class in PHP. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.